here. So number one, Twenty One Savage is getting deported. This news broke um, over the week. No, sorry, over well last yeah last night actually kind of come out come about, which was quite shocking to a few people. So supposedly the story goes that um, Twenty One Savage was 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 uh, on his way to watch the Super Bowl, or whatever, like Super Bowl weekend, hanging out with his mates as you do, and he was supposed to be targeted by ICE, um, the immigration um, or whatever. What does I stand for? Immigration question. What does I stand for? I don't know. Let's check it out. What does I stand for? Uh, blah, blah, blah. What does I stand for? Oh, come on. Load. Stand for. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Yeah. I stands for Immigration and Customs Enforcement. So, yeah, um, I don't know why they were targeted during the weekend, but it's a bit, you know, it's a bit crazy. So it means that maybe... Anyway, let's just give an overview of the story. Tony Savage gets pulled over in a car. His friend who is meant to be deported or something along the lines of Young Nudie, he's the one that the, the ICE... If, the ISIS officers were kind of targeting along the way. They kind of found 21 Savage. They booked him too. He popped in the system. And supposedly the story goes that he actually moved to the States when he was 12 years old. And before that, he was actually brought up in the UK by, by the way of Dominica, where his parents are from, um, which then made him look like a UK citizen. And then he kind of made his way from uh, London to the States when he was 12, which is weird because I've never heard this story ever. In the history of 21 Savage being around, I never heard it. Right, that he was actually born for the born in the UK and he went to um the United States just before he turned to a teenager. So uh the kind of the story evolved from this kind of ongoing thread that was happening on the so on social uh via the ICE agents, which is a bit worrying. But essentially, um so the first couple so the first kind of tweet went out, um an ICE spokesman said the following. Brian Cox said this, right? Uh, U.S. Immigration and Customs of Enforcement arrested an unlawfully present UK national, um, Shaya bin Abraham Joseph, aka Twenty One Savage, uh, during a target operation with federal and local enforcement partners early Sunday in the in Metro Atlanta. Uh, and then it says the following: uh, Mr. Abraham Joseph was taken into ICE custody as he is unlawfully present in the U.S. and also convicted felon. Mr. Abraham Joseph initially entered the U.S. Uh, legally in July 2005, but subsequently failed to depart under the terms of his immigration uh, non-immigrant visa. Uh, more from ICE. Mr. Abraham Joseph is presently in ICE custody in Georgia and has been placed um, into removal proceedings before the federal immigration courts. ICE will now await the outcome of his case before a federal immigration judge uh, determines the future. Um, which is fucking crazy, right? That he's one in one in one instance he's going to go watch an he's going to go watch a football game, and the next moment he's in like a fucking you know he's in one of those cages that we saw the kids in on his way to get deported or being processed to be deported to come back to the UK, a place that he hasn't lived in for the best part of maybe ten years or something, right? It's fucking crazy. I'm never sure if he has any family over here still. And of course, it helps that like, of course he's a multi-millionaire, but still, you know, he's got his whole family counting him in the states, and they decide now to kind of pull him. Well, but the interesting part of this conversation is that he entered the states legally in 2005, and it looks like he maybe just didn't renew his papers, um, or he didn't kind of go through the procedure needed in order to kind of get where he needed to get to in terms of having status. Or at that time, he had no inclination he was going to turn into this, you know, this. Huge, hugely successful rap artist, right? He probably thought he was just going to be a regular dude, and it wouldn't have mattered probably. And um, I guess probably because he's such a high-profile individual that maybe they targeted him, him because of that reason. Um, and it continues. It says here, um, blah blah blah. A nice person tells Twenty One Savage was taken to custody. His whole public persona is false. Uh, uh, he came to the US and UK and has been overstated his visa more coming, which is crazy if they actually said that. It's actually nuts even that ICE are giving press briefings, right, on high-profile cases. They should be not giving any briefings whatsoever, which is fucking nuts, right? Anyway, it continues, maybe because of all the bad press they got because of the kids in cages. Um, initially entered the US illegally in, two, legally in 2005, um, but he became unlawfully president of the US when his visa expired in July 2006. So I'm assuming whoever was in charge of getting his visa sorted out didn't get that sorted. Uh, blah, blah. and then there was a breaking news here from I think update from academic to some of the lines of uh, I spoke to him on Savage team he saw situations of a big misunderstanding and they hope to get it cleared out quickly there's logical explanation behind everything as well but until then let the jokes fly which is true there's been a lot of great memes on social about this whole situation that's been quite funny but you know taking away all the humour of it it's a bit upsetting really for 21 Savage and his whole family 
you know, he's come into a good space as of the last three or four years. He's kind of grown immensely in front of us. Um, I think we all kind of remember that really, um, you know, eye-opening interview he did with Breakfast Club where he kind of sat down and held court and just basically explained why he is such a savage, right? He explained the kind of, you know, his brutal upbringing, the fact that he lost loads of friends, close friends to a really, you know, a really uh, horrible <laughs> circumstances, loads of terrible shootouts where he was bleeding to death and his friend died and seeing his friend die in his arms, like just horrendous stories, right? That made you think, fuck, you know, this guy's had a hard, hard life, right? Um, and then he suddenly becomes this huge, successfully rap star, um, people really appreciate his, the, you know, the the seriousness of his of his bars and how he approaches things, and then he kind of improves project in project out. He gets better and better and better. So much so now he's his most recent album, uh, I Am, um, features a, a, an amazing J Cole verse, and you know he got the J Cole co sign specifically because he kind of you know he stepped away from all the glitz and glamour of the hip hop image and sort of like you know forego uh, wearing too much jewelry or wearing expensive clothes. And kind of, you know, spoke about ownership, spoke about getting his masters back, spoke about uh, building stuff in his local community. He was really on a good path. And then it seems like, you know, it seems like just when people are starting to get themselves fixed up, the cops kind of nab them. We see the same thing happen with Blueface, right? He supposedly got pulled over recently or arrested at a petrol station uh, because of some, 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 you know, some gun charge he had like a, a while back. But this is a good example, you know, someone that was quite wild in the past and then suddenly he starts to get on track, he starts to do things, starts to kind of get his career where he needs to go and then boom, they pull him up again. Uh, Takashi 6 9 probably got himself involved in something that he probably should have got himself involved in the first place. But we saw that in the same sort of way. And, you know, not one to be a conspiracy theorist, but Jesus Christ, man. But then on the other side, you have to say that for these kind of up-and-coming hip-hop guys, Hip hop stars and acts, whatever they may be, I think there used to be a lot more of a there used to be a lot more owners put into kind of getting their affairs in order before they step out in front of the camera, especially if they have aspirations to become a sub global star. I think we have to treat being a hip hop star the same way politicians have to treat about running for running to be the president of the United States. Right? We see the same thing happen with Howard Schultz. Howard Schultz was quite an, uh, a well liked, well respected. Uh, business individual right everyone kind of credited him with uh, the Starbucks rise and it growing into one of the biggest kind of coffee chains in the world and now all of a sudden the moment he steps up and tries to throw his hat in the ring to become president you know all of a sudden everyone hates him so you have to be very careful in terms of how you step out and, and when you step, down, step up and make sure you have all your affairs in order before people start picking out picking apart your statements and things that you said in the past and I think you have to do hip hop people have to do the same thing with themselves right they have to make sure that they've got all their charges solved and all these other things that they might have going on in the background done before they step out because you know by you know for sure hip hop police are going to be on your back so it's sad to see for Tony Savage it's really upsetting on his on his side I'm sure his family are going to be happy with the situation I'm sure for the UK people's jokes are going to fly I'm sure even people at Wireless are probably inquiring the situation seeing what's happening there because you know the opportunity to get someone as big as Tony Savage to come perform there would be crazy but also, it's, must, it's absolutely nuts that somebody hasn't lived in the UK for nearly 10 years is going to now supposedly get deported back because he's overstayed their visa. It's like, what? Especially someone as high profile as he, as he is. You could maybe, you know, use... Maybe on the, in their side of it, they want to use him as an example, but there's also ample evidence to see that he's, you know, he's contributed so much to American uh, the American economy, you know, by and large, by the amount of tickets and albums he's selling and the amount of paid in taxes. And also... Uh, socially too, right? The idea that he's, you know, the, the way he is and he's kind of preaching this alternative message to the kids coming up about not wearing jewelry, about maybe not doing as many drugs, about owning your masters. That's something that's a, a, probably more worthwhile at home than it is in the UK. Um, but, you know, what do I know, man? But yeah, this case continues. I'm, we're going to keep an eye on on the updates will probably be pending uh, across the next few days and stuff, but I'm eager to see what happens next in this interesting case with 21.